James Lennis, this wine is next from the producer Utopia. This is Ribbon Ridge Paradise Estate Pinot Noir, a 2017 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this wine. So a lovely Pinot Noir here. I think this is a really excellent producer. I have reviewed their Chardonnay, their Pinot Noir Blanc, and other Pinot Noirs. So I'll place all those videos up in the cards right here. And uh, so I think it's a really nice producer. I think it's a very thoughtful producer. And I love that they use Chardonnay, and especially that they do a white Pinot Noir or Pinot Noir Blanc. It is an exceptional wine. And this wine, and it's interesting, I did taste the uh, 2016 vintage, which is up in the cards as well, right up here. And uh, you'll see that video review as well. Vintage variation between the 2016 and 2017 vintages. And uh, it was quite noticeable to me and something that I thought this is very interesting. That's what vintage is for. And um, it's also the curious story of how wines age over time. So this will be different two years from today than it expresses today as well as the uh, 2016 vintage. Everything just is changing all the time. And wine is something where the remarkable stories and the love affair that we have with wine, at least for me, is how wine changes over time. And I think it's James Halliday said, one fruit becomes wine. And I think that's a lovely sentiment and lovely uh, thought about wine. So I think it's a way to characterize wine in terms of that loving quality of wine and what it is and how that age is a fantastic journey where spirits, the uh, journey can be there for 10, 20 years, and it's really gonna be about the same. Some might argue different for, say, whiskeys, but ultimately, um, you know, it's gonna characterize pretty much on a very linear level that is, um, and I love gin, I love so many spirits, but there's an expression that might be very, very consistent year over year versus that variation uh, of aged wines over time. Now this has three clones, triple seven, Pomart, and Vaudensville. So when you look at other Pinot Noir producing regions around the world, this might be on the lower side. 13.2 is something you don't see very often. And uh, I think it's a really uh, fantastic way of experiencing the wine and getting that modulation because fruit does taste differently. The vinified fruit tastes differently at a lower alcohol point than a higher one. So at 14.2 or 14.8, this would be a very different wine altogether. So this is 100% whole cluster, 404 cases produced in total, $65 price point. Let me show you the label up close, very elegant label. And this is to show a difference between their Paradise and non-Paradise Pinot Noir wines. Back label for you to look at here. So this sees 11 months in 35% new Burgundian oak and 65% of that previously utilized Burgundian oak. It's a lovely experience on this wine. So the coloration is beautiful. Uh, semi vitreous wine. Uh, I would say even like a mid-garnet coloration. So this wine is expressing with black cherry notes as well as rose petal. A bit of uh, white pepper, flower notes, as well as spice characterization. Beautiful. Next, the palate characterization. So this is expressing a black cherry note, thyme, uh, white pepper, and espresso. And a bit of chocolate notation on this as well. Not, not a lot, just a, a tiny amount of um, cocoa powder. So this is a 93-point wine out of 100 points. More information on this producer will be listed down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. And also subscribe is uh, down there as well. So the reason you want to hit that button is to see the latest videos that I am producing. If you've already hit subscribe, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. And uh, let's stay connected between video shoots. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. My podcasts are on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for watching. Let's stay connected, and I'll see you soon. Sante.